Hey, Primary Tree Math Projects, it's Coach Seifel with your daily dose of math mastery. And today we're going to go into question number two of your assessment paper number six. So let's take a look at the question immediately because this question is superbly easy and we don't want to waste time with easy questions. We want to get to the hard ones, right? Don't we? So let's take a look at the question right now. The question says this. Andrew has 1,510 eggs. That's a lot of eggs, Andrew. <laughs> now, Helen has 345 fewer eggs than he. What does fewer mean? means? means lesser. So let's find out how much Helen has first, okay? Um, before that, let's read the whole question first. Rosie now has 2,758 eggs, more than the number of eggs Andrew and Helen have altogether. So how many eggs does Rosie have? Simple, simple question. So let's draw this out. Andrew has 1,510. Okay, Andrew, oops, sorry. Andrew has a certain number. Okay, and then we have, what's her name? Um, Helen, which has 345 lesser. So here is 345 lesser. So let's find out what is this first, okay? Let's fill in the blanks. This is 1510. So what's Helen? Helen is 1510 minus 345. So what do we get? 1510 minus 345. With our handy dandy calculator, we get 1165. So this is 1165. The next part it says that um, Rosie has 2758 eggs more than the number of eggs Andrew and Helen have altogether. So, first off, okay, let me just draw this for them. So, if we put Andrew and Helen, let's just imagine this is Andrew and Helen, H and A. So this is Helen and this is Andrew, a bit longer. Okay, how much? Oh my, I don't know space. <laughs> how much does um, Mister Miss Rosie have? She has plus another how much? She has plus another two seven five eight. So on top of this, she's gonna have another two thousand seven hundred and fifty eight. So do we know what's Helen and Andrew? So this actually equals to Rosie. This whole thing is Rosie's. What's Helen? Helen is 1165. What is Andrew? Andrew is 1510. So what is the amount that um, um, Rosie has? She has 1165 plus 1510 plus 2758. So 1165 plus 1510 plus 2758 is equals to plus 1510 plus 2758 is going to give you the answer of 5433. Three. So that is the answer. Okay, alternatively, you can do it step by step. You can do 1165 plus 1510 first, okay, which equals to 1165 plus 1510, which gives you the answer of 2675. And then you can add up 2675 with 2758, and you should get the same answer of. 5433. Three. So that's the answer. So write your statement. Rosie has 5,433 eggs. Sorry, not dollars. So that's it. Alright, so going back to the example of the quote of the week, which is momentum, more results with less effort. I'm going to go back to the idea of that man who was pulling the aeroplane, if you remember, right? So take a look at the first part. He tried pulling it and pulling it and pulling it, and it didn't even move, it didn't budge. It didn't even move a single cm, and he even fell down. If you remember, right? But did he get up? Yes, he did. He got up and he kept he kept pulling it. He kept pulling it, and then it began moving by maybe one cm. Okay, and then he did. did he did he say, "Oh no, I put all that work in, and I only get one cm of movement." No, he kept pulling, and he kept pulling, and he get two cm. He kept pulling, he got four. He kept pulling, he got eight. So it began doubling, and after a while, it became 1 meter, 2 meters, 4 meters. And that's how he did it, right? It began from a small, small, small little movement, and it became a huge distance. So, how does this apply to you? This applies to you if, let's say, you're doing not so well in math, okay? And you have been trying all your best. And you know what? You keep trying, and you say, okay, I improved by maybe one mark, or maybe I, I improved by maybe two marks, you know, over the, over the few tests, and I'm not really happy. Now imagine if that bodybuilder, that, that strong man had done that. He said, oh no, I move, pulled so hard and he only moved 1 cm and he stopped moving. Will he be able to pull the whole aircraft? He cannot. 
So what you must do is the same thing. You must say, oh, I improved my one mark, I'm going to pull further. Because when I pull further, I pull harder, I'm going to get 10 marks and 20 marks and 30 marks. I'm going to get great results. I'm going to get better one soon. So that's what momentum does for you, my friend. So make sure that you keep doing it, keep pulling, and instead of giving up, you should be pulling harder. And you're pulling harder, the thing will start moving. So that's how you get momentum because momentum is very important in, in, in success because it gives you more results with less effort. That means if you used to put in one unit of effort, you used to put in one hour last time and you only get half of the things done. Now, if you put in one hour, you're going to get maybe four things done. That's because you have more momentum. If you last time you used to take one hour to do maybe two questions, right now you would do one hour, you can do five questions. That's what it means. So... I want to make sure you keep pulling, keep pushing, keep it strong, stick in there, and make sure you get more momentum. With that, this is Coach Saifu signing off saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.